Police have exhumed the body of a man they believe was the notorious serial killer Bible John. Detectives in Strathclyde want to prove that John McInnes, who committed suicide 16 years ago, was the man who murdered three Glasgow women in the late 1960s. Recent DNA tests have linked him to one of the victims. By the time dawn broke over Stonehouse Cemetery, police had already prepared the way for the exhumation of John McInnes from the grave where he's been buried since his suicide 16 years ago. Using pneumatic drills to break through the snow-covered topsoil, the digging work was carried out by council workmen and police. They worked under the supervision of detectives and Professor Anthony Basutil, one of Scotland's leading forensic pathologists, who will carry out tests on the body. The aim is to solve a murder mystery which has gripped Scotland for more than quarter of a century. Three women were killed after meeting a man at this Glasgow dance hall. In a taxi with his last victim, he quoted the scriptures, leading to his nickname, Bible John. Despite the passage of time, police never closed the inquiry. This is a particularly famous one. Uh, it's not unusual um, to, to keep uh, evidence for, for a considerable length of time. Bear in mind the fact that murder inquiries never ever close. Uh, and as technology advances, then we'll use that technology if and when we can. Genetic fingerprinting wasn't available to the original murder investigation, but scientists are confident they can now extract DNA samples from the body. Different bones t tend to decay at different rates. Uh, thigh bones tend to be particularly good at preserving DNA, as do teeth, just because they're protected from the environment uh, with the enamel. It's likely the forensic examination of John McInnes's body will take three weeks to complete. But at the end of the process, police should know whether he took the secret of the Bible John killings to his grave. Reva Alderson, BBC News, Stonehouse Country in Lanarkshire.